All right, now we're doing eight Q. Pick a set of first elements. This is by Darlin Mendonca, and ninety-one percent of the people like it. We're going to write a function to get the first elements of a sequence passing. Pardon me, elements of a sequence passing a parameter in default equals one will return the first in elements of the sequence. If n equals zero, we're going to return an empty sequence. All right, and then here's the examples. Main first thing we got to look at is if it's null or there's nothing in here, it's going to return the first element. All right, so let's just knock that part out first. Uh, so we're going to say we can say this. Let's say if r n equals null return an array with r at zero in it, all right? And let's test that out, see what it looks like. All right, well, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's say console.log. All right, so we got A for this first one, cool. All right, and as you saw, it doesn't work for the uh, second one. So we'll come down here and we'll say return R at zero, and let's test it again. And it's looking for this, but it doesn't get anything because we didn't do anything yet. So right now, we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna do a for loop, but first let's say declare a variable. Let's say let result equal an empty array and then let's say four let i equal zero while i is less than in i plus plus all right so we're going to iterate through to n and then we're going to say result dot push r at i all right whatever the current index is of r it's going to push it in there all right and then we're going to come down here and say return result. Let's test this out. All right, looks good. Attempt it. Uh-oh, but something is wrong here. When length equals 10, but there's only five things in it, it doesn't know what to do, all right, because it'll keep going after that. So let's do another edge case, and let's say if, hmm, should we do that? No, let's, yeah, let's say, let's put this in the if statement. So let's say if uh, n is less than or equal to r dot length. Excuse me, why don't, we, why don't we just do this? If n is greater than r dot length, return r. And then let's do this. Let's see. Test it out. Attempt it. All right. Let's make this a little better looking. Put this here. Say else. Bring this back. All right. Four. Looks good. Test it out again. It looks good. Whatever you want. The fact of the matter is, that's a lot of typing. <laughs> Well, we could do something else. Let's get rid of this junk. Actually, let's 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 put that junk back. And let's reformat this. Let's say const first equals r in are the arguments. Let's take all this and turn it into an arrow. Let's come down here. Let's take this out of here. Let's say console.log so it's easy to test. And let's do something down here. All right, first thing we got to look at is right here it says default equals one well that's a little helpful hint we can just say in right here to take care of this null action to take care of this action we'll just make the in equal one so that when it does actually put an in in there it'll say uh in equals zero or in equals two three zero whatever uh but instead of but unless it's one of those it just says n equals one all right hopefully that makes sense to you so now let's say console.log r 
test it out. What does R look like? Yeah, A, B, C, D, E. So now let's use the old slice method, all right? Let's take care of business with the slice method. If you don't know about the slice method, it returns a shallow copy of a portion of, a portion of an array into a new array object selected from start to end, end not included, where start and end represent the index of items in that array, and the original array will not be modified. So end is not included. So we would do something like zero to, let's say, let's change this to zero to four and show us what happens. Let's get rid of all this so that we don't confuse anybody that doesn't understand what's happening right now, right? So now we've got zero to four, zero, one, two, three, four, and it should end at duck. Let's test it out, let's run it, and it does. Zero, one, two, three, so what we wanna do is say r dot slice zero to n. Let's test that out. That gives us A in the first one. I'm sure it would give us A and B on the second one. Let's go here, test it out. Two milliseconds. Let's make sure it's good with an attempt. Ah, oh, and it does work, all right? So you can either do this, or you can do something like this. Your choice. Uh, let's go back over here and submit it. And looky here, 785 of us plus these people like to do it in, uh, or, uh, yeah, like to do it in normal syntax. Uh, and then here's some more, here's the syntax we just used, and then keep going down, you can just keep checking them out. Uh, let's go to mine. Uh, 156 of us plus these people, best practice in my opinion, very much like it, and we'll see you next time.